Aloha everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today's video we are going to go grocery shopping. So you all are going to come along with us. We're going to the military grocery store here in Hawaii and we have a list ready to go. I'll show you all the list. So this is the list we have so far. I do need coffee as well as coffee creamer eggs, bread, the kids requested bananas and apples and grapes. I actually forgot to put grapes on here. I need some bag salads because I hate cutting up lettuce so I always buy bag salads. I also have sea salt, milk, frosted flakes because Kyra has been wanting frosted flakes, mac and cheese, Lunchables, Kyra wants Lunchables for days that she does go to school. We have chips on the list, the Japanese curry that we like, rice, because we need rice, vegetable oil, Maggie's is um, a soy sauce that Ron likes, and then on the side you see sponges, dishwashing soap, paper towel, toilet paper, and dog food, but I know I'm probably missing a couple of things, so I will probably add on or will most likely pick it up when we're physically there. But let's go, let's go grocery shopping. So we're here at the commissary. Kyra, what are we gonna pick up? Frosted flakes. Huh? Frosted flakes. What Rice. else? Rice. Fruits? Fruits. Fruits. Anything else? What do you want to bring for school? Snacks. Snacks. Okay. So we'll have a handful of things. What's your guess on how much we're gonna spend? $300. Probably around there. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking too. All right, let's go. So it is that time of the year where all of the Hawaii goodies are packaged so that way we can send it out as gifts. So as you can see, the commissary put out all the local items right in the front of the store. So here I'm showing you all some of our local Hawaii goodies. So that coffee that you see right there, I have been buying that brand of coffee. I've been buying the 100% Kona coffee and I've been enjoying it. It's called Movadi and their coffee is pretty good. Here you see chocolate macadamia nuts. It is, my goodness, it's amazing. If you have not had chocolate macadamia nuts before, they are delicious even though these are all packaged to pretty much go out as gifts we buy this all the time just to eat just because This is the time of year where the coffee brands have their fun flavored coffee so one of the bags I saw was cookies and cream and the other one was like a chocolate raspberry. I love this time of year, don't you? Here you see cookies that are made in Hawaii. This is the Diamond Bakery brand. So here you see the candy bread um, cookies. It basically has sprinkles on it. Here you see the coconut one. If you all haven't watched our taste test collab that I did not too long ago, check out my good friend Crystal Evans. She actually ate that coconut cookie with her husband Jorge. So definitely check that out if you haven't yet. And then also, this right here, macadamia nuts in different flavors. So the green one is Maui onion and garlic. That's like the best flavor. The other one is an assortment. Red one is the honey. And then the blue one is just your plain macadamia nuts. All delicious. It has been a while since Kyra and I went grocery shopping. And so Kyra was so excited to see all the different types of fruits, 
she insisted on getting some pears and some apples and just a wide variety of fruits so here we picked up these organic apples the price is actually pretty good and she wanted Fuji apples for $3.93 that's not bad I tried to convince Kyra to get that bag for $2.89 which is a great price here in Hawaii but Kyra insisted on the Fuji I'm getting oranges Orange make me healthy. I like a banana. Who else likes to buy bag salads? I am the type of girl who likes bag salads because I hate cutting up lettuce. I hate preparing my own salad. That's just me. That's how I've always been. So I picked up these two bags of salad and they are one of my favorites. Barbecue Ranch is so my jam. Sweet Treats by Chris is a local brand made in Hawaii of just yummy desserts. So the ones I'm showing you all are energy bars. They have s'mores bars. They have a pumpkin bar. They even have the gummies that I like. I do like to support local, especially because it's important especially now even though the prices are a little higher this is the first time I saw the soup with crackers they're so clever isn't it so you can heat up your soup in that container and then you can put your crackers with it and it's a fast meal Looks like the commissary now has the do-it-yourself boba drinks so I can get my tapioca, the coffee jellies, everything I need for boba. I'm going to give you all a rundown of what we've all picked up so far. So the first thing we did pick up is we did pick up a variety of meats. Ron did get ground beef as well as I believe there's... Um, steak in there he normally likes to pick up pork we did get a, a case of coke we don't normally drink coke very often but we just wanted a little bit so we got the small can we got some chips because we love chips in this house our favorite is the salt and vinegar one which is the blue one popcorn it is a must in our household everyone loves popcorn we did have to get another thing of vegetable oil Ron actually loves frying, so that's always a must. Those are the snacks that Kyra picked up. So that's Oreos with the cream filling, Ritz crackers with the cheese. This is our first time picking that up, but Kyra wanted to take them for school. Here is my favorite 100% Kona coffee, which is the Lions. I actually have not been drinking that for a while and miss it, so I got a couple of bags of that. Ron wanted Parmesan cheese. We got boxes of mac and cheese that you see in the bottom, rice, we did get spaghetti, we wanted to get hummus, and then here you see the fruits, we did get pears, apples, and bag of salad. Do you have a preference in french fries brand? So we normally get the one in the red bag, but we are trying the checkers brand this time around. I hear great things about that brand. My husband has mentioned that there are um, restaurants out in where he was from, so he got to eat it at the restaurants there. But for me, I've never actually had this brand before, so we're trying it out.
I love chocolate dip pretzels. So seeing already dipped chocolate pretzels, I really wanted to get a bag of it, but I had some self-control. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we ended up picking up. We loaded up this baby. This cart was full. Check that out, everyone. So you saw earlier how much there was midway. This is everything else that we picked up. We did pick up some more items from the frozen section. Ron wanted to buy this turkey because it was such a great price. We also picked up bread. We got some egg. We got those veggie spirals for spaghetti. We did get deli meat. We got, if you see down there, we did get cleaning products. So we did need it to get laundry detergent. We needed to get dog food. We also needed to get your paper um, towels and the toilet paper. So a whole lot of everything. We had a lot. This is a big grocery haul, everyone. Okay everyone, this is a rather long grocery haul. We kind of expected it at the end, but we did get a handful of stuff, lots of snacks and food for the winter break for the kids. So as you can see, it is very, very long. And the total came out to be $445.81. We did get a lot of fruits this time around. We got some fresh um, deli meat. We got a lot of snacks for the kids, so trying to hold hold them over, and we're doing our best not to eat out. So, yes, rather large grocery, oh, almost five hundred dollars. So the total came out to be four hundred and forty-five dollars. Isn't that crazy? Um, we just got it loaded in the back of the, the truck, and then yeah, gonna go head home now. But yeah. $445 for this grocery shop. Were you guys expecting that much? Oh uh, yeah, shopping with you. <laughs> I went and bought half the things that we bought. <laughs> All right, you, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and comment down below. Bye.